So you got your world title fight after that. You were flying, undefeated, very tough fight, Woodley. How was that experience getting in the cage with him? Do you know what? I, I, I just put... At that time, these fights with Wonderboy, I missed weight for Wonderboy, and all these fights leading up until I fought Woodley and, and, and my last fight at Welterweight, Masvidal, I wasn't thinking fight, I was thinking weight. So, don't get me wrong, like, it was great, but I didn't show the Darren Till in that fight. I just showed that Darren Till could make weight because I made weight for the Woodley fight, and I'd put all my stress and my energy into making weight when I didn't even put any focus on to fighting one of the best fighters in the world at that time. What like, pressure came on you? Because after I'd missed weight with Wonderboy, that, that's that's all people cared about. People didn't care about him. It was like, yeah, but he shouldn't be at world's weight. He, he, he can't make weight. Uh, you're giving him a title fight. He can't make weight. And every day, even a new column was worried. It was like, what have you, read? What have you done? I was just... I wasn't going to train and thinking about techniques and sparring. I was going to train and thinking... Have I lost enough weight there today? Uh, have I drank enough water to flush my system up? Like that was my whole focus and mentality leading up to the Woodley fight. How was, about Woodley. how was the weight cut? It was disgusting again. Like yeah. I made it, I made it a lot easy, easier than the previous fights. Uh, but again, it was just uh, the whole process. If someone, if 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 you could have a twenty-four hour camera around the whole process leading up and the day before weigh-ins, you'd just be like, that is so unhealthy beyond belief. Like, it's damaging. It's it's potentially lifelong damaging. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I was, the, the day before Woody, I cut like 10, 10 kilos in, in a few hours. Mm -hmm. Like, and all these other guys are cutting weight with a few kilos and that, and I'm just in there, just skin and bone and just my face is so just dried in and dragged in and not healthy who not was it losing that first fight it pissed me off it fucking I shouldn't have lost I should, I should, I should have beat that guy I was better than I, I am a better fighter than Tyron Woodley I'm a better fighter than George Masvidal and I'm a better fighter than Robert Witter but that was my first loss in MMA on the biggest stage possible I was just I was like I was so close in touch and distance for that title but when I sit here now I'm like fucking so glad and happy that I did lose and I have lost and I've had fans and I've had people turn against me and oh, he's not going to be a champion and all that I, I've actually I've absolutely loved and cherished every moment of it 